the epidemiology of lung cancer, what do we understand about gender and the biology of, of, of women. There are also people who, who are diagnosed of the lung cancer who never smoked, and most of them are women. So uh, in the last few years, there are investigation about that, about gender differences, uh, because uh, um, in the many aspects, gender differences in, in the many aspects of the disease, uh, uh, from the, epidemi the epidemiology, the pathogenesis, the prognosis, uh, the response to treatment, uh, and even the length of survival is different from men and from women. So may maybe we can talk about that, uh, how, uh, how also in your country the investigation is uh, getting uh, uh, some, uh, some good outcome in that and uh, maybe share with us uh, what is uh, your opinion about that. I, th I think one of the things that's startling about it is just the public perception of lung cancer as being an old man who has smoked disease. So part of this is just changing perception. Part of it is because these stories are so remarkable and they make news. And so they're the ones we hear about. Um, so we're not hearing about somebody's mother who, you know what, she quit smoking in the 60s when the Surgeon General report came out, but guess what, she got lung cancer anyway. We're not hearing about somebody's father who you know, um, started smoking in the military and hasn't been able to sm stop and he gets lung cancer. Those, in general, reporters don't want to cover those stories because they're not unique. Um, so, so there is this unique element to these folks and, and we hear about them and you know, somebody like Dana Reeve, of course, a public figure who was young, um, they, they capture our attention. Um, I do think it's important for us to note, um, this was the subject of the plenary this morning from Dr. Tun, that, that the incidence rate of lung cancer among never smoking individuals and certainly never smoking women is not rising. But the absolute number of people who have never smoked is rising and our population is rising. So the number of people who have never smoked getting lung cancer is rising. And that's something that we have to think about as we move forward in our advocacy efforts because this is going to really be the changing face of lung cancer. There's fewer people smoking. My name's Lee Lawrence and I'm from Australia and I'm representing uh, Lily here. Um, I'm from Corporate Affairs and we have interaction with advocacy groups in Australia. And just in response to this particular question, I don't know the name of the, the professor but there's someone who I met the other night in Australia who is studying um, gender differences in relation to um, uh, cancer and the progression of the disease and their response to treatment and, uh, and all that kind of thing. So I, I don't know how much is going on but I, I certainly know there's some, some attention uh, to that matter and there will be some data coming out from Australia and looking at Australian patients and gender differences.